Okay, this is the last video on our uh, mini project for a side-scrolling game. Uh, and it's just to go over how the scoreboard works. And what we can see is, in the initial one, we set up, they set up the variable score equaling zero and health equaling zero. And what we basically said is, if that health variable, uh, if your frog is touching the mushroom, you're gonna minus or subtract one from the health variable. And if you're touching a fly, uh, you're going to increase your score variable by one. So in, again, what changes is in the background, this variable is being added to when you touch a fly and subtracted to from you subtract to from you touch a mushroom. So if you look at how they display the scoreboard now, if we just take a look at the game and we run it, we have the health in the upper right hand corner and the score there. So what you're gonna see is all they've done is set the text size to 20, the font to black. The score for text is joining uh, the colon and then at 3030 on the X, Y coordinate. So that's where we get that score colon from. The next one from that is what you're displaying is the text, you're displaying the score variable. So you're not writing the word score, but you're displaying the variable score and you're displaying that at the coordinates 100, 300. The same thing is done for the health one. We're displaying the text health colon 280, 30. So that places it again in this upper right quadrant. And then we're displaying in text, meaning with text, our variable health. So we're not displaying the word health, we're displaying our variable health at the coordinates 350, 300. The other thing that you're going to notice is the way they display game over is if the health variable is less than zero, turn it to the background to black, fill the uh, green text size to 50, game over at our 4200 uh, coordinates. But again, this is how uh, you can display a variable that you store on the screen by using that text and then calling that variable in there.